say don't know too much about it, but do <laughs> now. <laughs> but just the fact that I got chosen out of all the amazing people in that room is it definitely hits me pretty hard and um, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Is there an emotional toll that a season like this can take? You know, winning 12 straight, not losing for more than three months, and then having it all come to a, an end like it did? Yeah, every year is kind of a weird, depressing, confused state of about a week where you go from having just a mission and a schedule every single day to, to not knowing really what to do with yourself. Um, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, but it was an unbelievable season and uh, I think we have a lot to be proud of and a lot to build on. And um, I think there's gonna be a lot of the same guys back. So that's exciting. Uh, it's obviously never the same group, which is what makes the NFL uh, tough. And um, yeah, just gotta appreciate life and keep living. The way the, the way the way it went down, do you come away feeling I don't know, cheated at all, or is that just life in the NFL? Uh, no, I mean, just didn't go our way. Um, kind of seemed like it wasn't our day, it wasn't our year, um, and uh, it's a really good team, so they deserve it. There, there's not a lot of moving parts when it comes to the salary cap. I mean, when it comes to your room and extension, do you have to? Be prepared to, you know, have, I don't know, have some kind of and just kind of look for all the puzzle pieces together. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have patience and um, probably not worry about it for some time. Uh, I have an amazing agent who will handle all that and I'll just uh, enjoy my time off and uh, get ready to roll next year. Will you have the goal of becoming the highest paid defender next? Uh, not necessarily. Um, just see where it goes. Is it safe to assume you'd like to get something done and stay here long term? Oh yeah, I mean I'd love to be here for sure. This is a great organization. They treat you uh, as good as you can, and um, I have amazing relationships here. So hopefully, yeah. if D'Amico Ryan's is gone, what is uh, what has he taught you, and, and what are you going to miss the most about him? Um. I'm just gonna miss his, his smile every day, uh, his positivity, and <clears throat> um, yeah, just his knowledge of the game. Um, I'm gonna miss just how he uh, how he appreciated the defensive line and how he um, made sure to make uh, us feel uh, like we like he appreciated us and he let us know that every day. So it, it helped us work even harder for him. Um, but um, I trust Kyle that uh, he'll replace him with the best guy possible who will have the right uh, mindset and same principles that D'Amico had. And I think D'Amico is going to go uh, build a really good team somewhere else. Since you've been here, you guys have been a total caliber team. Does this give you like a new appreciation for just how hard it is to win a championship at this level? Yeah, I'm kind of tired of I'm tired of saying that, but <laughs> yeah, uh, it's definitely hard. At the start of the season, we talked about the uh, start of training camp, what you had physically done to prepare for, for this year. How does that process work in off season? Do you sit down with you know, the people who help you get to, to where you want to be over the next couple of weeks to kind of draw out a plan? How's that timeline uh, going to work? Yeah, uh, I think this year I might take a little more time. Um, but I always, I, I say that and then I get the itch early um, and I get home and I want to get going. So um, I get, I'm going to have my guy uh, Todd back in Florida who will be there when Joey heads down and then um, he'll be ready to roll when I'm ready to roll. And I'm sure he'll encourage me to take time. I, Anna, I've already talked to, my chef is ready to go. Um, but yeah, we got this year it's simple, we got the gym ready and everything's gonna be ready. How's your calf going? It's good, it's not infected, so it's <clears throat> kind of what they were worried about. Um, but yeah, it's just pretty sore because it's there's some bruising there, but uh, not too bad. What's your biggest takeaway? Biggest takeaway? Um, 
just, uh, I'd say the, uh, that you could really fight through anything that, that, that this league throws at you and um, you shouldn't give up at any point, no matter who you lose, no matter what uh, the season, what ups and downs the season brings, you could, you could get through it and have a successful year. Okay, you've been close three times now. In your vast experience, what do you think it takes to um, I don't think it really takes much more than what we had this year. I think we were on the right track. Um, just uh, putting together um, a couple more games of, of the standard that we have here. And, um, yeah, I think we have the pieces. We have the template. Uh, just got to, I mean, getting that by would help. The most rest you could get is possible is something that could improve your chances, but um, yeah, I think we're on the right track. Do you look back on those early losses when you guys were three and four then, it's kind of a missed opportunity to be the number one seed and have the game at home? And have yeah, that definitely could have changed a lot of things, but you could say that about a lot of things that happened throughout the year. I asked this because you have set a, a pretty high standard, but you didn't have a sack in four year last year. Five games, it's like, oh my gosh, what happened to Bosa? What, was there anything? I mean, I'm sure you're getting attention, I know you're still being impactful, but did really, anything change the way the offense is it went after you? Oh, no, I think <clears throat> I think you kind of get uh, comfortable seeing sacks on the stat sheet every week, but um, a lot of the time, the impact of a game. There's a lot more to it, and um, sacks are a, an important stat and a, and a great stat, but uh, there's a lot more to playing football. And, um, I think uh, I didn't change anything, so I keep doing the same things. I think you were going to get Jalen Hurts for a safety there? Uh, yeah, he's strong. <laughs> Is he? Yeah, he's very strong. Uh, I was trying to pull him back, but... Um, yeah, he's deceptively very strong. You got any uh, idea on which which quarterback's going to win between he and Mahomes? It'll be a good good battle that I will not be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that we know about about Brock and how severe his, his elbow injury is with torn UCL UCL, what did it, does it mean for him to go back out there and finish that game for you? Uh, it's pretty cool. It was confusing. Um, mm -hmm. I was like, why wasn't he out there? But mm -hmm. then I realized he wasn't growing. So, um, I feel bad for him. He's going to be fine. Um, he's got a good amount of time to get right. And, um, I think he's going to keep improving. What do you say about him, the fact that he was more sad for the veterans in the room, not being able to use the Super Bowl than his own performance? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> that just shows what kind of guy he is. And, um, and what kind of team this is. <laughs> Charles. Defensive MVP of the league, boy. Yeah. Get your dice some time, my brother. Uh, see you in Vegas? I'll holler at you, Nick. <laughs> um, yeah, no, Purdy's a great dude. And um, when you're around all these guys, you just want to win for him. And I feel the same way that he does. That's good. Thanks, Thank you.